Hi there, this is Caitlin Porter from the Mongoose Enablement Team. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate two different custom-made applications that were built using the Mongoose Framework. The Mongoose Framework allows you to rapidly develop robust enterprise capabilities with minimal coding. With its metadata-driven framework, all of the applications built are fully customizable and upgradable. Applications built within the Mongoose framework are fully responsive, so creating a mobile or tablet version of your application is easy and fast. Mongoose is also a part of the Infor tech stack, so it can integrate seamlessly with all other Infor solutions like Infor OS Portal and Infor Go. Mongoose is a low-code solution, so no knowledge of source codes or programming language is required. Most of the logic in the examples I will show you today is done with the use of minimal code. With the use of application themes, I'm able to create reusable theme classes that can be used throughout an application. This makes design changes to an application extremely fast and easy. Any changes that are made to theme classes will cascade throughout the application. The first application I'm going to demo is Fashion PLM. This customer wanted an application that would allow them to take photos of certain clothing items while on site at trade shows. These photos would build a photo gallery of pieces that can be used in future catalog templates. They also wanted the ability to maintain attributes of those pieces, such as size, color, collection, etc. They also wanted an application that was accessible by web or by mobile device. That way, when they're on site at trade shows, they can use their mobile device to walk around and take pictures of different clothing pieces. Here's the application running in the web. This application can be accessed in the app switcher within the Mingle frame, just like any other application. From here, I'm going to go ahead and look at my gallery of pieces that I already have. Here I can see all of the images that have been uploaded into my gallery. As I navigate through, I can see different attributes of the different styles and any notes that I want to keep on the piece of clothing. Now I want to upload my own photo into the gallery. To do so, I'm going to navigate to the upload page and hit the upload from camera button. Here I can select a photo that I want to be imported into the gallery. Once I hit save, the image will now appear in my gallery. I can navigate back to my gallery to view the image. Now say I'm on site at a trade show and I want to walk around and take pictures of pieces that I like on my mobile device. Here I can use InforGo to access the application. Now say I'm walking around and I found a piece of clothing that I like and want to store into my gallery. To do so, I would navigate to the menu on the right and hit upload. Here I have the option to take a photo directly from my mobile device. I'm going to hit the button, select file, and select take photo. Once I take my photo, I can hit use photo and upload, and now I can add attributes. Once I hit save, I want to go view my item in the gallery. To do so, I'm going to hit the menu and go back to my gallery. Now I can see my item in the gallery, and I'm going to go ahead and select it. Once I select it, I can now view any attributes that I had stored on this item. I also have a detail view. If I go back to the hamburger menu and hit detail, a detail view allows me to scroll through each item in my gallery. This application was built entirely with zero lines of code and just one form page to maintain. While it is a simple application, it just goes to show you how easy it is to build consumer-friendly UIs that are multi-device ready. In this next demo, a customer need an application that would allow consultants to get feedback from the project managers who interact with the consultants every day. They wanted the ability to have a ratings and rankings screen that is a visual representation of how the user is ranked amongst other users. They also wanted the ability to have evaluation requests sent out to a users via email. They also wanted an activity feed that allows a user to view the status of their evaluation requests as well as any evaluation responses. 
If I open the application from the desktop, you can see here this application can be accessed in the App Switcher just like any other app. The home screen is a to-do list of evaluations that are awaiting my completion. I can click on one of the evaluations to take the survey. Once the evaluation opens up in a new tab, I'm going to hit Begin Evaluation to loop through the questions of the survey. I'm going to hit Finish and my evaluation has been submitted. Once I complete the survey, the entry will now disappear from my to-do list. If I navigate to my activity feed, I can see a list of all of the evaluations that I sent out or any evaluations that are awaiting my reply. If I click on an entry, I can view the results of that evaluation. I can also send out my own request by using the bulk evaluation request page. Here, I can send out multiple evaluation requests to different users to evaluate a particular user. Once I hit send evaluation, it will send out evaluation requests to all of the users. And my activity feed will update with those evaluation requests. Now, if I hop over to my email, you'll notice I have two new email requests. These are the evaluations that I sent out for each user. If I click on the link, you'll see that I'm utilizing an HTML template to send out the emails. Here, I can use a clickable link to access the evaluation. This application, all, this application also allows me to view my ratings and rankings of all of my responses. To view my ratings, I'm going to navigate to the My Rating page. Here is a visual representation of my overall rating based on the type of evaluation on a scale of 0 to 5. If I want to see how I'm ranked against other users, I can go to the My Ranking page. Here, this also gives me a visual representation of how I'm ranked against the other users in the system, separated by evaluation type. In this application, I can also access admin settings if I'm an admin user. Here, I can do things such as manage the users, or I can manage the evaluations and the questions on those evaluations from the evaluation management page. To view the application on my mobile device, I can utilize M4Go to access it. I'm going to open M4Go and scroll to my application. Here you'll notice the navigation is slightly different for the mobile device. Navigation can now be found at the bottom of the screen rather than on the left. Here I can view my to-do list of any evaluations that are awaiting completion. I can view my rankings my activity feed. I can also select an evaluation to view details. I can also submit new survey requests from here as well. Here I can also access any admin settings such as user management and evaluation management. I can also complete surveys from here as well. If I select an entry from my to-do list, it will pop open the survey to complete on my mobile device. I hope after seeing these real-life examples of applications built on Mongoose that you recognize the potential when it comes to developing on the Mongoose framework. If you're looking to receive more information about Mongoose products, please reach out to the Mongoose product management team. You can also learn more by visiting mongoose.m4.com. This is Caitlin Porter, and thanks for watching.